so that we can name it on the fly. <laughs> name on the fly. Okay. Right, we might as well sort the camera out here. Asalaamu As Alaikum and good evening, how are you all? I hope you can he all hear me loud and clear. Now we need your, we need your um, Facebook. Um, you need my Facebook? Hello, Asalaamu As Alaikum, Adab. And we, welcome to, we haven't got a foggiest idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the whole point of this. Yeah. We don't even rehearse anything. We just just play along so and, you guys um, can have a laugh. Thank you for to that person who liked the previous test video that we were like trying to figure out how to change their camera from Uspad to Uspad. <laughs> so, you know, um, we'll find out who you are. Maybe we can send you a lolly. Lolly? Yeah, a lolly. Wow. There you go. You know, I'm not budget now, so we have to go with... It, Good point, good yeah. point. We don't have a budget. Lolly's, Lolly's more than enough. Yeah. Um, Mita Zinish, ba. Mita Zinish. Kita Zinish de Ramla. Exactly. Mita Zinish. <laughs> I don't even know if, if we're live or not. but We, we are live, see. yes. Um, Pi I pinch you and you pinch me. Yes, Duk Milev. I'm live. I'm phone going to go. No, I'm going to go. We will introduce ourselves. I mean, you should know us by now. So I'm going to introduce you again. I'm going to continue. Are you going to go? I'm a name of Sali. I'm a name of Jessam. Actually, we got it wrong again. <laughs> I think nah, people, this time I'm like, it's people are course. latching onto this. They're going to think that we guys are boring. I'm the same way. Every time we're the same way. Right, okay. okay. My name is John Thomas. And my name is Joe Blocks. Oh, right. So you're the owner you behind said John the... John Thomas. John Thomas. I'm Joe Blocks. You're Joe Blocks, the, the famous guy behind the jeans and the fragrances. Joe Blocks is one of the most, the most famous names in the world. Right. Not just jeans, very famous. What about John Smith? John Smith is, is one of the most common names. He's not famous, but it's a very common name. I love that say, John. And thanks to my mum and dad, they didn't call me John Smith. Why not? John Smith is a nice name. Actually, you've got no connections. That's because I haven't logged in. All right. But Uibo, Uibo, inshallah. The reason I'm eager to find we... out is I'm wondering if people are watching us, we're making a fool of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, let's see. Is it Actually, working? I hope yeah. it's working. Let's see. <laughs> people are just, I think they're, they're just laughing at us saying, no, well, this is the beauty these of guys, see. <laughs> what are they on about? Well, I'm not camera on the now. You're here posing, and I'm like behind oh, the yeah. camera trying to figure out the switching for until And then the next minute, I'm talking to myself and realize I'm on, I'm, I'm on camera. Well, I did. When I went around the other side, I saw your face. Yeah, I know. That scared, scared, that, scared, didn't it? scared me off. <laughs> You're not the only one. I was scared as well. <laughs> Scaring yourself. <laughs> yeah. Off. Right, okay. Let's see Are if we, we can here? connect now. And it's saying it's not connecting because. Oh yeah, I think we're, we're on. Yeah, we're, we're definitely on, but for some reason it's not connecting. But not to worry, we'll keep you entertained in the meantime while we try to solve this technical problem. It does in the tiny technical problem. Ubaya technical, gumaya technical, santinai. Ubaya gumaya technical. So you had some notification on there. It says connected. So that's fine. It's brought up the... Right, let's see if that works. Oh dear, oh dear. Identity. Right, let's we try can get this. your phone. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not working. You know, we, do, do you realize we are actually live and we're... Um, Trying to solve it on, yeah. the, on the run. But never mind. Let's we might not, with the show. We might not even have anyone online. We need to have a look at the comments. Actually, yeah. Everyone, you stay where you are. I'm coming around the back back office. <laughs> okay, just a sec. Is it working? We've got one person watching. Still one person? Yes. You know. And you're definitely moving. Right. So that's, that's we need time. to invite a few people. Yeah, Yawar Mia is watching. Thank you, Yawar Mia. Thank you for watching. Yes, so you're coming around as well to invite people. Yes. I think, uh, good, good. Yeah, but no, that's my. Hey, Right, okay. Now, if you go around to this side. Whilst you're doing your techie yeah. stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll keep, keep everyone entertained so they're not looking at uh, empty chairs. <laughs> so. Viewers, members of ILB, 
How have you been? It has been a long time since we've last seen on live. As a matter of fact, it's how long would it be this way? Roughly about nearly a month and a half? About six to seven weeks. I'm the live AC now. So I saw the after a whole palace on our Zaralogam and Zuga Zuga say, Oh, mashallah, mashallah. You know, four is better than none. So I saw the after a palace on after a comments the under the Zanaiba. Kita halo wasta and what what everyone is doing. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna double check and see signal strength is good. So obey the after a long matter, I'm obey them in techy stuff for them. Right, that looks very promising. Very promising indeed. So let's try again. Here we go. It's starting up fine. Looking good. Looking good. And it's saying it can't connect. Very good. Story of my life. So anyway, regardless, I'm that we'll we'll keep try and keep you guys entertained. And then whilst it is by is you know having a chit chat with you guys, I'm gonna try and get the, the Wi-Fi password from, from reception. And see see how we go from there. Are a few ro uh, comments rolling in? Got three people watching you. Good. I, I made a comment already. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, Would we you a good one? Well, I'm just concerned we don't get any more viewers, or there's no more comments on this. Right. Did you invite anyone? Did you, Did you tell anyone that we're coming tonight? No, I just did it. I thought. All right. Now, now we've got one person. Now. All right. And two again, it keeps going up and down. Up and down. I'm, I'm sure we'll get more people. Okay. Uh, just carry on. Right. So, well, as soon as you're back into the hot seat, I'm going to go and go and grab um, the Wi-Fi thingy, the code. And then once I've got that on, you know, we can go go back onto normal business. Yep. Got two people. Okay. And what's our ILB number? Sorry, I what's the ILB number? Because we we've got a we've got a you know like a, a phone that's which allows you number. which allows you to call us in and say good things or bad things whichever. I'm gonna leave the phone right yeah. here so we can see. It ring. I'll, I'll let you sort your connection out. I'll ask oh, you to, in that case, to our I'm, I'm, yes, okay. you carry on and I'll go and do this. Okay. The boring stuff. <laughs> right. Um, uh, good evening and assalamu alaikum. Um, Sorry, um, we didn't give enough notice for today's program. Uh, we just thought we'd just do a program all around this wonderful um, events that are happening in Oldham, with the Oldham Rohingya Appeal. So, because the, the gala event is next Monday, just thought it'd be an appropriate time to do the program today, promoting the event next week. We are hoping to get a couple of guests in who are heavily involved in organizing all this. Um, that can tell you a bit more about it. In the meantime, you, you just have to be um, entertained by myself and EJ Sound by a lot of the time we don't even know what we're doing. And now I don't know how many people are watching us. So basically, um, today's program, like I said, it's all about Oldham Rohingya Appeal. Oldham, the town of Oldham has got together recently um, in order to raise uh, uh, money for the people of Rohingya that have been displaced from. Burma and coming over to Bangladesh and you know you you must be now aware of all that's happening and there's a lot of hardships they're going through and basically I think they need a lot of help so um, this is happening all around the country a lot of people doing a lot of good work all around up and down the country but I have to say all the Rohingya appeal from what they've done so far an absolutely amazing job and I'm sure when we have our guest in he will tell you a bit more about it and um, and give you more information about next week's gala event which is happening um, on the 30th of October at Eastern Pavilion. I'm still waiting for the sound bite so if you bear with me a minute. Did you try giving up? Oh we've got plenty more. So this is where are you logged in? So yes, yes I'm I'm in so I'm, I'm getting getting into um so what did I miss? I just, I, just, I just told him about the Oldham Rohingya Appeal and the gala event next Monday. I mean, this is the whole point of us uh, doing the program today, just to uh, promote the event and just highlight what a wonderful job everyone is doing under this Oldham Rohingya Appeal. Um, 
Oh, brilliant. Right, we've got, we've got you. Oh, our admin, Afia Mia, is yeah. um, watching us. Brilliant. We've got a few uh, more. Asalaamu As Alaikum, Afia Mia. Thank you for joining us. Afia, you, you're the most reliable person all the time. So I'm hoping that you're going to call us, call us live on this she's, show. She's like um, one of the main pillars of I, IOB. Definitely, definitely. And obviously she's going to criticize us for speaking in Bangla, it's really English a lot. Yes, <laughs> yes. She comes on. Um, slapping my hand. Uh, Sister Afia, if you have a minute, why don't you give us a call? And uh, the oh. number is 079-02-326-943. And if you can do us a favor, type that in on, on our thread so other people can join us. That is a very good idea. Uh, I'm that Abu Isma. Walikum salam. Shot hold the salam this one. Boshur Mia. Boshur Mia. Boshur Mia. Join the whole song. Nice, nice of you to join us, Boshur Mia. And hello to you too. Thank you, both of you. For, thank you for joining us. Um, like I said earlier, um, we didn't like let people know in advance. So it's this last minute thing. So maybe a lot of people are not aware. So those of you who are online, and uh, please join us uh, for this wonderful, uh, to promote this wonderful event and all the activities that are going on recently at, um, by Old Rohingya Peel. Are you able to invite people? We've got six people on there now. What's the number again in this way? 0 0-7902. 0-7902. 3-2-6. 3, 2, 6, 9, 4, 3. 9, 4, 3. Right, our numbers are increasing. That's brilliant. Fantastic. Here we go. Right, Sister Afia, I'm hoping that you go call us. Abu Isma, rest in peace, MBS. I'm the Ebo Morsi in Arabai. I'm the Ebo Zindas. We're alive and kicking. Sadly, I'm busy with work. And like I said, you know, like I'm recently, I'm at a post to see that I'm the um, very controversial at that subject and very crucial subject that we see I'm that catering industry. I'm oh, that that's, cater that's a very good yeah. I'm that catering industry then um I'm that skiller shortage but uh next generation kids they don't want to work in restaurants. You know just to sort of touch on a few few things. So watch this space. I'll let you know the time and date when we're gonna go on live and you know, hopefully we should get some yeah. good interaction. I in think, this. you know, we mentioned RIP, MBS, programs like this, like today's, all other programs, it's all, all, so dependent on you, the audience, right? Yes. You know, a, a company, um, a program, and all this is, can all survive so much depending on the interest from the people like yourself. So, um, you know, if, if you promote more interest and promote it more with other people, I'm sure it's going to come back in, in with <laughs> a bang again. I'm not a boost, my reader. Naba, Agunta Fao. As in, take a break. <laughs> right, that's a nice, nice like, like saying. That, like, that, like that. So, um, Sister Afimi, are you still watching us? We've got a few more people yes, on the line. Yes, there. couple. So, whilst we wait for our guest to tell us about next week's gala event, we're going to uh, um, have a chit chat about ILB and its, and its, um, its, its general discussion on how things are going with ILB. Um, Salam bhai, I mean, yes, do you have anything to talk about ILB? I know that you are sitting here. Right, I'm not sure, mashallah, I'm not sure, 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 i am not sure i am not sure i am you know, and to pick up on that point, the love. I've recently been to and he's having a right? And you might not think people do watch ILB, don't people you? do talk about it. Yeah? But only thing is, a lot of people are shy and they don't take part, they don't participate. It doesn't mean they're not seeing us. It's, it goes out all around the world. People from Middle East, people oh, yeah. all over the yeah. world. So unfortunately, yeah. we don't get. Actually, no, Sister 
for you to give us a call. Yes. Now. Give us a call. I'll have one number. I'll be around 07902 326 943. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 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 i will tell Mr. Khan, we didn't know them, as you can probably tell from the surrounding. So pop in for a cup of um, chai Actually, or is it going to be, be a... coffee? Yeah, co is, is it coffee with Khan. Mr. Yeah. Uh, uh, Khan, bhai, we're expecting you to come and jump, pop in for a few minutes if you can. Yes, we'd, please. We'd love it because I know you... You, like, you, both you, said, you, know. you are heavily involved in this and especially next week's gala event. So if you can pop in... Yeah. Maybe a few words from you, you know, like encourage yeah. and encourage people to actually participate. If you can't pop in, why don't you give us a call? Yes. Number um, Shunno Shat Noi Shunno Dui Tin Dui Soi Noi Sai Tin. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to it, challenge it, you to it, say that faster. It was like, you know, as if I was dining with my nose. <laughs> dining with your nose, that's yeah. all about. Right, I'm going to challenge you to say this faster now. Should we come so hard faster all day? Bro, I've got a speech impediment. I can't do it. Shunya shat noe, shunya dui, tin dui soe, noe side tin. You know what? I'm going to need to Bangla number to do it. I'm going to ask you because people even in Bangladesh, that has been telephone number to do English. Have you, have you noticed that? That's true, that's true. You're going to come and have a fucking funny line. I'm going to mark us me a good and nice. Marcus Mia, we're expecting you. Yes, we're, where are you, sir? Where are you? I'm not Khan. Are we invited to come on live? Of, of course, course, you Mr. are. Khan. This, and this... besides, Bondu, both the news. Both the news are the Guys, Mujahid Khan, by Marcus, by this program is all for you guys. This is this is why we're doing it. I'm not, you guys are doing a great job and you've got a lot more to say. I'm not the Khan, I'm not the Khan, knowledge that I'm Khuira. If you guys come, that would be brilliant because then the whole uh, sort of community could know uh, more. And by the way, we, we might think that we've actually done programs that everyone else knows, but a whole group, a whole um, Members are something they only watch certain groups. Yeah. So even Amra, do you have to do Amra? Oh, I'll be with them, buddy. We still sort of achieve something. To, we need to push the message out. We need to push, push the message out as well. Yeah, like yeah. I said. Oh, perfect. You think, you know, talking about, you know, like, uh, miniature groups. Amra Chinese, by is a regular commenter. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, Chinese, by Jigeda, is this the new MBS? No. This is the old and existing and future ILB, yeah. ILB of Bangladesh. It will continue to go. Um, as you probably know, you know, I'm part of ILB, so yeah. I do bit bit here, bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there, here and there, here and there, everywhere, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, ILB has been going for a number of years now, so it's nothing new if, for the benefit of our new members. We've been doing live shows in the past, and this is just another one of those shows. So we're not... Um... To be honest with you, I think we need to do more often because... Live on a stand for the way, like we were saying, I'm not to Sharasoto, Sharasoto as a member Tahai, at least half a day the interaction for that, Aro on a busy, busy, on a page to group to. But on a, on a, on a, on a, on a interaction for a now, I to English a comment to I, by English a post for I, on a photo for on a, but monohoronze or Judami act of Turde by grammar Judy act of. Terabekhoa, <laughs> আপনারা মানে দেশে দিয়ে অনেক জ্ঞান আছে আমরা যারা এই দেশে বড় হইছি আমরা এই এই জ্ঞান নাই আমরা যার কারণে আপনারা জ্ঞান আমরা লগে শেয়ার করতে বাংলা যদি ফারুন বাংলা লেখো কা ইংলিশে ফারুন যদি আরো ভালো হইব তাহলে আমরা নতুন প্রজন্ম যারা আছে তারাও বুঝবো before i forget actually we need to thank uh, central snooker club here we are actually here at central snooker club i mean if you have noticed already can you some green area says snooker table was there so we need to thank them for actually letting us use use the uh, establishment to actually uh, broadcast live from here yes. so 
whilst people are also playing so manushnu you are disturbed mase snooker khelta hamro program pe jo program and if you feel like a game of snooker come down come down, down. Come down. down. snooker club why you come yeah. to us yeah the more people that come down right we might get some sana so you never know you never know acha amar mujahid khan bhai to smash in with comment ta dekhlam to comment amar khan sahab bhai what's the crack tonight lads the crack tonight is all dam rohinga appeal everything every small item associated with to sort of shot up hold the bigger picture aim kitamra afna razan organizer of larson afna kunu dishe e group ta horson kunu dishe charity charity taha paisa itadi te afna ra dola khota khota somondam ta janpal lagi so also khansha please amra uh, i hope you are outside all the events are going to come together all Uh, there's lots of events happening for Oldham Rohingya Appeal, and the next Monday, the 30th of October, Eastern Pavilion, is the gala event. Gala event, man, Nikita, the whole event is hand over hand. You should have one massive event. One massive event. Yeah. To it's like a finale. Off. Finale. Yeah. So uh, that's another reason why we run. Oh, yeah. Abdul Salek from Burnley, Balarabai, Salam alaikum. Thank you for joining. I'm done. Nozrul Bayo, Asan. Nozrul Bayo, watching. Nozrul Bay. scroll up you got the number it is by just for your uh, just for your uh, uh, benefit of my nozul bhai bangla number hoy tai na english hoy nozul bhai and members amra hoy amar bangla number hoy sira right after the request and monrod kor bangla te amra hoy number after ring kor kar ring kori amar bangla bangla mat tu amra number akbar hoy ami 07902326943 abhi ekta fast e bolisam ke i'm getting better at this very good very good to hikili so ro bhai hikili so pat on the back pat thank on the back shabash bangali amra khomer to kharab na khomer to khola mashallah mashallah uh, markas me i uta khoida kita inshallah will be joining all soon mashallah, inshallah. look khushi isi dewa khushi isi look forward to seeing you mashallah tell other Aye. people please to watch amra, and we we trying to promote it khaje humayun ko be thank dibar pulton dekhra amra boro bhai assalamu alaikum mashallah bala asun shay shay shusto asun apne age amra khol disla isu me ami ekta beshabat aslam driving aslam Inshallah, go rogya. Inshallah, bring kormu. Your mia huida. The program is amazing. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Amar dulobai. Your mia is the same one from Birmingham. He always um, supports us, watches us. Thank you very much. So it is. It is mane kita. He is your dulobai. He is my dulobai. He is very patriotic. Yeto badu ilo time kuiba bala. Na na. Dulobai yahan line. He sometimes he kisu. Bala rogura. Yeah, bala rogura. Sarcastic is it? But he is very very supportive. Also, he is very uh, patriotic as well. Patriotic mane kita. Desho like kisu maya se. As 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 nothing wrong with that. When we mention patriotic, people think oh my god. Patriotic will amra zuno zuno. माटीलगेट You, you, you just opened a can of worms now. That's it. Yes, yeah, the program now is going to be dominated by cricket news now. That's it. It's all on you now. Right. I I've recently been watching um, the Test series against South Africa, also the One Days, and I have to say I do get carried away sometimes. There's no Bangladesh. Khelena bala, I have to carry away. I have to passionate to it. And recently, to be honest, I've been so disappointed. So, can I tell you, if you're online, uh, we can touch on that later on about cricket. But at the moment. Bangladesh is struggling, especially against South Africa. But having said that, South Africa are the world's number one ODI nation. I think Test Tour was your. I'm not sure if the number one or not, but they're up there, right near the top. So we're playing against the very best. Premier. Premier, yeah. yeah. So I mean, there are Khelen and Kisu are also there. I know we're going to lose against them, but we need to fight. You know, show a bit of a fight. Don't That's give up yet. Don't give up. Two yet. more games left, by the way, members. Two more games left. Thursday. First ten twenty twenty two Thursday and Sunday is the second twenty twenty against South Africa. All the other half, but a full match is possible. I'm hoping that at least we get one win, one win Bangladesh. Come on, one win. Extra win, Khalid. Two chances in the extra win, Khalid. Now we're going to get T twenty. I'll be happy with that. If you can, if you can win the series of T twenty, two extra win, Khalid. That's fantastic. So history. I'm looking. I'm still looking forward to it, even though it's a bad thrashing last few days. I'm still looking forward to watching Bangladesh on Thursday. Yeah, tar furo asha se. Asha se. Tar furo asha se. Yeah, and it's it's actually on um, British television, Sky Sports as well, by the way. Usually, na ne amra, my shit tukaya ba kono stream kunta kuno hano dehan ni jo. But this one is live on Sky Sports. You can all watch it if you got Sky Sports. Okay. Amra Chinese way of reader. Say it in English, as in the number. 
Wow, number type, what are our English or Hongroa? Okay, language. so back to the English again. The number is, I'm not type of Singapore, you as well. Yeah? Type of The number is scrolling for the whole The number right. to call to come on live on this program is 079-02-326-943. Once again, the number 079-02-326-943. Please let us know your views. If you can't call in, comment on the thread and let us know. As a matter uh, of fact, you know, I'm not Chinese, by Zinani. Bicharato, he's a bit of an enigma. Really? Yeah, it's a bit of an enigma. Enigma, like, like it though. Enigma, you see, I'm an, um, I that's a good one, that. An, <laughs> enig enigma, enigma is like a mystery. Roisho. All oh, right, okay. Roisho's. The, who is on my MBS thread, who is on the as who is this fella? And I'm like saying, well, you know, ask and you shall find out. Right. So, so maybe I'm the Chinese way you do on a. Under a phone, we don't know. Under a lay home, ah, Malikum Chaiga. Give us a call. Yeah, the Chinese way. I'm not Namo that knew. I'm not the Chinese way. Who are the Nam to? Well, I'm the Chinese for Tambarina. So, come on, we wait for your call. Yes, yes. Oh, Faima Mohini Hubira Huida. Shall we call and donate money? No, no, Kita Itaki Babet. What we, to say. I'll, I'll, I'll right. cover that in a bit. We know, this is not yeah. actually a charity program. Does it? I want to organize They will tell you all about yes. it. I'm yes. not program with uh, donation. I'm not awareness, awareness, for awareness, for awareness, for awareness for The guys that are going to be here later on, hopefully they'll be here. They'll tell you more about how you can donate, how you can do it all through that. Okay. And when I registered account us, yeah. so Tara everything that is audited for us. Yeah. And then I have a point of Rohingya Rohingya is a Durdosha, a Durdosha, a Durdosha, a Durdosha, rogue people. Rogue people are for Shatulda, Afnara Hushedin, the Nafra, Tanyabuzia, the Danger. Registered charity, yes. Otoba is a man old and Rohingya appeal. Itan, itan, and itan of the guarantee of the goods, era was under Shobat Sin for Sitomanus, plus Taran Nizef, it Chahata Bitoro. Hoyto hajdur bosul maze, khafurur maze, ba shelter shelter equipment duite. Thara nize, thara nize manushtiya. Thara i khoros kala khobo. Zar kharona ite ra amda support kordam. Khewuji ti kunushuma jiga khoron. Ze i auto shop theka ba khoto theka uplo. I kitar maze khoros roilo. I i shabta amda dambar. But onyonya charities ra asenani. Afna ra jodi zanunna. Question it. Yeah. Like at uh, end of the day, it is often a difficult it is genuine. Often, often a lot of us there are at least hamoto lag to nani. Yeah. This is this is always people's aims. And there are you know the the given their hard earned money and they as long as they know that it's going to the right places that they would do something they say would do something that they fulfill is that that's that's all it is really. Because often a lot man a hoster for sure. Onion, onion, and man, costo do dosha do forte. Afne use korta. Ite hoy ekta swap. Chala ya khali Muslim mande jo afne sajjo hoy jaise swap. Pai pai amon kono hota na. Je kono jo man dur bikke ba kono azab er maza ta ke afne na jodi azab azab ta kisu asan di tawaron. Chai ni ite na jo ek swap se. So just to uh, clarify, um. This is not a charity for any charity or anything like that. We're just making people aware of yes. the fantastic work done by the Old and Rohingya people. Also, we're trying to make people aware of next week's event on Monday, the 30th of October. Afnara Farun Judi, Afnara, please, Afnara, Afnara Shomoji, Taka Afnara Zuddan Diva. Ikana Amdo Tahmu, Amdo Shate Afnara, live Hashita Tahor Tarba, and we'll try and, you know, pull a few stunts if we can. Well, you're going to pull the stunts, I'm just going to be there doing my. I might be engineering it. I don't know who's going to pull the stunt. So um, we're hoping that we're going to get two guests in later on. They can tell you a bit more about the appeal and how you can donate. As a matter of fact, I've just got notification they will be here in 10 minutes. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. In the meantime, should we crack on with a few? Yes, let's um, do so. We're going to talk a little bit about ILB, uh, how it's going. So did you want to touch on any subject? Did you say something about Korean Are you going to do that on... No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. I'm not obviously ILP page in my channel. I'm not doing a live on the stand. I'm not going to go to the top. 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 
সামান্য আমরা বিষয় টপিক টপিকের মানে হেডলাইনটা নেই যাতে আপনারা যদি কোনো কোয়েশ্চন থাকে বা এমনও হইতে পারে যে হয়তো আইএলবির মাধ্যমে বা এমবিএস এর মাধ্যমে আমরা অনুষ্ঠান করব হলে পরে অনেক সময় আছে আমরা মানে मेहमान হল আইতে পারে मेहमान मेहमान হল আইলে পরে এমনও হইতে পারে যে যে কোনো একজন বিশেষজ্ঞ an expert in 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 a particular subject for example এমনও হইতে পারে যে স্বাস্থ্য সম্পর্কে যদি একটা অনুষ্ঠান করি তাইলে অবভিয়াসলি ডাক্তার একজন থাকবা আইন সম্বন্ধে যদি আমরা কোনো একটা কিছু কিছু করি তাইলে আইন সম্বন্ধে আমরা লয়ার একজন আনবো আইনজীবী একজন আনবো তদ্রুপে সো আজকে যে আমরা মানে লাইভ এই যে কিছু হইছে কি মানে ও কিছু মুহূর্তে না যদি আমরা হঠাৎ করে আমরা একটা ডিসিশন করছি চটপট করে আইছি জেলাম পাটা সেন্ট্রাল ডিসিশন বাংলাতে আমরা আজকে ভাই ও বাস মাহি ফাহি ভাই ও শিতু ভাই ও দেখা সামনে ওয়ে বি গন ফাইবা ফাইবা আমি নু ডরাই আমরা শিতু ভাই লং টাইম দে হি ইজ a great support of IELB he's been oh. to some of our events uh, as well um i don't know to wait or surot por dai so tai no netari di rakhe ona tai phira kyu korto really i've not seen him recently actually yes dekhlo tai na to kashta korchilo o na to korbe je phira kyu koron tai ami thanar ke sami question jiga korta mas tami den tell me by call amra re amara o so number ta diba please o so number ta de ek bar ami jigai mu dui bar jigai tam nai Chitu bhai we miss you miss you bhai give us a call number to ase five five ma moini for biro for idan do you know i think bangladesh couldn't get used to the whole setting oh you watch cricket and didn't know just how good south africa will be at home but it's not about the wins i promise we'll improve one day and my bangladesh will blow us away i mean what is like we're not talking about wins here and bad luck cricket we are not talking we are just talking about a little bit of fight yeah but it's been given the right that's what i'm saying we we know we can't you know we don't expect to have a competition them. yeah have a competition you have to fight they are rather just throwing your wickets away and everything and from what i have seen it's like tara you know they, they just throw the wickets away for for no reason <laughs> yeah, oh you like need to be able to fight like, 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 like in the last match i uh, know in the last match uh, i think we were five wickets down very early but actually sakib and somebody has tried to st- they stayed all the way until 40 overs which is good this is the last two weeks we just need a bit of a fight we're not asking to be the most trust the best team in the world now uh, that that's my point anyway so yeah good point made for him the fame also said why is this why is this so late i have university tomorrow but i'm enjoying it so much good fantastic because it's so tasty it's worth staying up for <laughs> Fahima, I do request you to stay behind a little longer because you asked about donating. When we get yeah. our guests in, they can tell you a bit more. Please, please, please. Yeah. Another 10-15 minutes tops. Yeah. And then yeah. we're going to, you know, give give the seat. Because I do them. know you've been a long-standing member of ILB. I know you're heavily into cricket. You're a cricket mad fan, which same as me, actually, in a way. Um, but I get carried away sometimes when they don't play well. This is that. But I know you're a cricket mad fan as well. And you've been a member of ILB for a long time. So thank you for your participation. And I have to play with you. Thank you. I'm glad I was in a people like I was talking to you about the event. Yeah. So anyway. Um, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Many words for you all. even promote such a cause may allah bless you amen and the cause would have, would have gone but i live too far away uh that's uh, fahima by the way so i'm done i feel my kitab we done assalam alaikum uh so shalom on the lead on the pro i need that with you to you afnara i haven't got my glasses man that's your excuse no but seriously the writing is still small for me Okay once again this is Rafia we waiting for your call 0790236943 I'm going to write who's in that cuz I'm not getting any calls yeah oh my god this way how are you we we live by my own no 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 I thought so I thought I said this is yeah this is another guy he's been he's been involved with the Rohingya appeal as well I'm sure he's been a great man Rohingya kada kisu hoyla tara khali bento na ba padatu kanit yeah yeah the most most thing is the community coming together yeah, this yeah. is the most money is the main issue yeah. people getting together yeah, one understand yeah. this, this is the most we heard important it from the horse's mouth here yeah. and yeah. the most we didn't even uh, rehearse we didn't plan it just walked in and he's telling I'm me I just about walked in <laughs> two, two famous right. this is this is genuine you know the guy is here you know to I play, play a bit of yeah. 
Yeah. So like I said, thanks to everyone who supported every Rohingya video. And let's do more for them. Inshallah. Fantastic. Inshallah. Okay. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> so there you go. Can I get you a drink or anything? No, 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 thank you, Victor. Thank you. Right, so, um, yeah. Ah. I'm not a few men, number, number, this one. Number, number, that's one. Number two is here about 079-02-326-943. Oh, mashallah, we got a call, have we? Did you have a call? You'll have to speak up, it's because it's a bit noisy. Salaam alaikum, who's calling? Where are you calling from? Has it gone quiet? Salaam alaikum. Have you put it on loudspeaker? I have. Hello? One minute, sorry. Uh, I have to allow speaker. It's a bit. Is it? Yeah. It's usually. Uh... Why is it very quiet? Hello? Oh, it's not actually. I think somebody. You've got a new caller. Who's that? Sorry. Where are you calling from? I'm going to try and get you live on. Uh... Sanakum? Who's that? Sorry. It's very hard. It, uh, try, can you ring and get call again, please? I'll try and put you on the speaker again. Sorry about this. Just call us again. Oh, it's such a pity. <laughs> oh, man. Why is it? I don't I think, know. I think it's the... I don't know. So anyway, going, going back to the thing. Um... Right. I don't know why it's not working. Yeah, I can hear it now. Go on. Hello? Hello? Hello, Slanikum. Can you can I just about the noise? It. I think it's because of the noise. Hello, Slanikum. Oh, I chat chat Mohini. All right, I chat with you. Have you come to know? Well, actually, come now. Come now, put details give up. Uh, tell us, uh, thank you. Thank, thank you for calling. Me. Yeah, that's all right. But I think you don't know sure of the arrow to the volume. Ni barani, right? Um, shall I give my number? Yes, my 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 thing is is a bit louder. Okay, give us a minute, uh, Fahima. Just call us again in two minutes, please. Yeah, we we need you back, please. Thank you for calling. Such a shame that no, no, we need you. Yeah, right, okay. Okay, so I'm That's not live TV for you. <laughs> Alternative number of another day. Right, um, okay, let's. Slanikum, what is the one by? He thinks snooker is his second favorite game. Uh, I know which is your first favorite game, I'm sure it is the same as mine. Thank you for tuning in and please tell other people because we're trying to uh, raise awareness for Olden Rohingya Peel and for next week's gala event, uh, 30th of October, Eastern Pavilion. Oh, seven, nine. Seven, six, five, three, nine. Please bear with us, members. Yeah, I'm just totally got a bit noisy here. Yeah, post posting an alternative number. So hopefully, you know, like alternative number of the speaker for have to cloud us it. Yeah, so Mohini, so, please give us a call again. Yeah, many apologies. And we do apologize. You are aware that we're in a snooker center, so I'm glad. It's a noisy environment. You're going to get other sounds, so that's why I'm, I'm talking as loud as I can. I've got a big voice anyway, but um, salam by yeah, your... Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so the phone is on standby, waiting for the call. Can you want to read it out again? Or? Yes. Number is again 07957653936. In the meantime, Mabu Borbai, you're watching but Assalamualaikum Mabubai. I just promote this t-shirt yes. here. I've not other than old t-shirt we're attacking in any. That's contributed to, to the appeal. Just yes. buy a t-shirt. T-shirt's yes. nice as it is. I love the t-shirt. So again, yes. if you want one of these t-shirts, yeah, we've got contact the call. somebody here. Let's see if I can put it on the speaker and it's a bit louder, hopefully. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Right. Yeah, we can hear you a bit clearer now. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, fire away. And first of all, thank you for calling and thank you for your participation. Acha, apne Bangla mein banana English mein mat pahu kaise? Ah, apne mein acha. Apne Bangla mein dikhaamra members itna IELTS bhi to nahi Bangla mein thiluka please. Um, so, what do you think so far of IELTS? And tell us why you called and you know focus on. Ah, uh, 
Um, ano ba katinan niya ni uh, i-place pa na kayo? Wish ko ba nun na niya? May amin ba ang mga pang nalit siya sa noise eh? Um, but ang nyo da siya takang diyo eh. Ang mga boyos, um, only 19. Oh, wow. Only 19. Acha, Mohini, tell me, kung nga cricket liya kung passion, kung nga yakta siya. Why? Kung nga nga cricket liya kung nga yakta siya. Kung nga yakta siya. So, tell me, because I'm English, but apologies, I'm English, but like, tell me, is it the love for cricket or is it love for your country that you uh, follow by the rest of passion? It's Dota. Both. I love my I love my country always since I was small and my Bangladesh like is a tan and uh, everything I needed to and then I found cricket and I found well I'm a Bangladesh and cricket shall I to tell me I love she like on I love my verse. Fantastic. You know a ninety sorry I'm here to I'm uh copy the I'm nineteen year old person, so passionate about the country, so passionate about the game of cricket. It's just um, amazing. Yeah. Well can I just ask where were you born? Bangladesh. Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Amazon, Malaysia. All right, okay. Sorry, I didn't. As you might, you, you mentioned it. I didn't quite get it. So, uh, how old are you when you came? Are, are you currently living in the UK? You get the honey. Yes, yes. So I came here when I was one, and then I, I come to uni here. I went to, I went to school here. I live in a really English area. Um, and after I get my my Arab accent, and I'm if I am now, then I am in Indian. I have to keep in touch with my culture. And then, wow. Yes, I'm, I'm just, I'm just owing up this I'm, 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 I'm speechless. I'm blown away, actually. You know, such a young person and so passionate about, you know, like, stuff related to Bangladesh. Um, if I had a cat, I'd be sick of it. Right. I went to Bangladesh, um, and I had to meet in my Bengali, and then I really stayed quite weak. And we could do it, so we came to this country, and then I took myself. Oh, okay. Wow, that's really can you, um, I would love to have a chat with you about cricket because you you know I love cricket as well and I follow cricket not because I used to I didn't used to like cricket as much as soon as Bangladesh started playing I followed cricket all the way through. Who's your favorite player? Hello? Hello? I'm gonna ask that would be Great call. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's oh. still on. Hello? Oh no. Network not available. Can you believe this? Guys, honestly. We need some network problems here. Network, my, my network totally died. Can you believe that? I, I don't think it's your fault. I think there's a, no, there's a network I, issue. Actually, here. you cannot do uh, signal to cut up. Hi, Hi, It's a network issue. So she might yeah. call back. Look, total zero. Now you ban my you. What about yours? Mine is total zero as well. Um, yeah. I'll just go on the other side and check. Oh. Oh, you carry on the other side. Yeah, sorry Mohini. I mean, you know, we were having a fantastic chat and it was getting really interesting to know that such a young person is so passionate about Bangladesh and, you know, especially, you know, for, 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 a, for a female member to be, you know, like passionate about something that usually is considered a a male passion like cricket football so you know it's something different i'm not saying it's abnormal it's something that we don't see every day and um, again you know men, many 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 apologies yeah no 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 don't worry about that i can talk for england me yeah. many 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 problems oh we've got another call let's see who's calling Hello, caller. Oh, yes. Yes, Mohini. Is back. Hello. 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 Where were we before we got broke, uh, you cut off? Um, I think somebody was about to ask me something. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you um, about your interest in cricket. 
and um, if you've actually gone to any matches, matches can you live 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 موہنی <laughs> right But I didn't want to say anything because, you know, like some people might take offense to it. Yeah. So it's a good thing because it is why, you know, he highlighted it and I just thought I'm going to get it off my chest now. No, brilliant. So what has been so far, cricket-wise, what has been your highlight watching Bangladesh? I'm going to tell you about the highlight, the best time. Oh, I think we lost. No, 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 no she's still there. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Hello, yeah, you can see here. We got the Actually, the line is a bit... Um, yeah, it's, it's, so it's the building that we're in. It's a very old um, building. I don't old, even know that. Yeah, old building, you know, we cannot signal it. It's very weak. The signal yeah. is very, very weak. Yeah. So, what I, I'd like to thank you so much for calling us and um, and also being a regular okay. member of IMB. I'm really always, you know, watching, supporting. Uh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the program. And I know you've got to go early uh, to sleep, but we really appreciate you just watching us and uh, calling okay. us. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say to us? Anything about cricket? Mm-hmm. Anything about, uh, about uh-huh. Rohingya appeal? Anything about Bangladesh? The messages? بنگلہ <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. Bazaar. Bangladesh is hugely affected, right? so we, we, we definitely um, sort of ha- have a keen interest to actually help the Rohingyas as well as help the yeah. Rohingya people as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, do you want to say anything else? No, 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 I, I just want to thank, thank you, you know, thank actually, you very much. Actually, Mohini, uh, we've, we've, got, uh, we've got our guest here, he can tell you a bit more about the uh, oh, appeal. No, 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 Um, would so you like to ask? Uh, so stay with us. You can ask questions yeah, about the appeal. Uh, if you have any questions, Moody, carry on. Sorry, what was that, Moody? You want to ask him a question? I didn't want you to know more about the charity because I haven't asked him before. You're a member from a different part of the country. You want to know more about the charity. He's live on the air. Right. This charity, yeah. this charity is a community charity, all for the Rohingya people, just like everybody else is doing something uh, in their own way. And we've come together as a whole community to raise as much as fund as possible and raise as much as awareness as possible. And uh, basically, we'll be joining some organization to take this fund. Uh, and also, we've got plans to take this fund ourselves and uh, give it out in uh, aid. Uh, on the ground, hopefully in uh, January sometime. Now there is a discussion of doing a convoy from Silet all the way to 
taken up and this is all in the planning okay. and a lot of planning's uh, required so we'll have a further meeting but most importantly at this moment we're raising as much as fund as possible and also we've got an event going on the grand event which is on the monday next week 30th of october and we'd like to see a lot of people to come out and give their support as much as possible and raise as much as awareness as well but most of importantly this is not a one day crisis this is not an overnight issue this is an ongoing crisis so that we will be doing further things and further people will be joining as this is moving forward but like most people know what ORA is how we started and this wasn't something in the planning it all came together as we united more and more people together like yourself in Dubai you're doing something with the banner right yeah. this is not you guys you got so mohinu does that answer your question so you can do in your own way however you can however you can support the victims of this crisis in the whichever way you can so still still here are you still there oh no no it's gone we lost it yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, the Wi-Fi connection is in the. Wi-Fi is all right. It's, it's the network keeps dropping every now and then. Is it? Yeah. Right. Right. So, uh, you only, one minute before you come back. Um, I'll um, Mujahid Khan. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's warm up. Let's put Mr. Khan in the hot seat. Yes. Mr. Yes. Khan is. Uh, Where is he? You know, Mr. Khan's role as a man. Where is he? Is he somewhere? Mr. Calling Mr. Khan. Salam, salam, bhai. You guys don't see. I'll go to the side. Ready? Please. Come on, take seat. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. There you go. Right, am I, am I in the hot seat? You're in the hot seat. Can you not feel the heat? <laughs> that's <laughs> your... Uh, yes. That's your... Yes. Yeah, yeah. My heat. So, <coughs> as, I, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we were going to have the special guest. One of the special guests is here. He's one of the person who's heavily involved in, in the organization of all this. We're going to have Marcus on later on. So, it's up to Mujahid Khanbhai to tell the members about, um, you know, the ORA, and um, about What's the gala the event next next <laughs> What's the theme of uh, tonight's broadcast tonight's theme is all over india field all oh, right yeah so, so what we the event you know the, we, the event next week just to sort of show how everything ties into the event of next week yeah yeah i think uh, the more awareness we get inshallah yeah, we should get more people joining in and you know, pulling together okay well i mean assalamu alaikum and uh, good evening everybody uh, I'm just really uh, pleased to be here with the brother Idris and EJ 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 I like to call him Okay 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 here tonight uh, uh, talking about the um, final gala event uh, supporting um, the persecuted people of Arakan who are known as Rohingya uh, and over the throughout the whole last 5 or 6 weeks there's been about 13 14 events and yeah. there's another one going on again small all all the small micro events like football um a little bit of you know carrom like board, a carrom board um, and cleaning clean up you know small things which actually benefit the community and also at the same time raises awareness even though you know on social media on on certain media channels you get we get to see what's happening to to these people and over the years you know you we've also seen on facebook various different other medias uh, you know the persecution uh, the blatant disregard of human life and it's come to a point where you can't ignore it anymore no it's it's unbearable you know um, and it's words cannot describe no it can't the pain the suffering the persecution my it's we can't even end a word that can describe the suffering of the, the these very innocent people yeah. who are indiscriminately Children. Children. being persecuted you know what for you know what just I mean? for it's being like, being who they are exactly for being where they are yes it's not the fault of their own is it it's something that goes Just, higher to a political level uh, where yeah it and, does and, and, you know um, i was in i was in london last week and one of the members of parliament who visited uh, the camps she said there's something like over 100,000 children without adults there's about 80,000 expectant mums um people have come with nothing winter's coming 
people yeah. need warm clothing. Warm clothing, yeah. You know, it's yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's so serious. It's a huge even, crisis. It's a huge you know, crisis. I can't explain the seriousness. Man, I, we over just the, got to pray over the past, and do what we can. Over the past, you know, like sort of couple of months, really, you know, especially with um, the awareness and the movement that we're having, various cities, various towns, everyone's doing, everyone in, in England, everyone's doing something. And, you know, there's been convoys sent over to actually, you know, like, directly distribute uh, food, dry food, um, uh, uh, warm clothing, and also, you know, a lot of people have been doing, you know, like uh, clothes donations, you know, uh, so all that's been going. Some medical supplies have been gone, and there are a lot of people, and all have to go to both Yeah, there's uh, a lot of individuals have gone. Yeah. Uh, a group has recently been. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this, uh, everyone's doing whatever they can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I guess it's not about how big can you do something. No, it's all those little yes, we are all contributions. contributions. You know, for you contribute for that. You know, they're giving some funds, uh, and other people are organizing other people. And I think the whole Rohingya bill. Uh, is a campaign basically. Yeah. It's brought together so many different groups of people. Yeah. But not only that, the absolute pleasing thing is there's lots of children involved, lots of youths involved, lots of young adults involved, lots of women involved, and you know, it's the, uh, quite a few. It's actually brought. Involved. It's actually brought our community together because Age Kuneshomai. I said we had segregated groups. Correct. Segregated groups as a lot of other group of us. At e crisis only, we're trying to find ways to work together for a common goal. And I think the message that I'm, we've been sending is that focus your mind on the goal. And the goal is the suffering of these people. And what little can we do from being here 6,000 miles away? Yes. Forget about differences. Mm -hmm work collectively yeah. and this has become a collective focusing movement, yeah. on the yeah it's a collective movement yeah. and its focus is on the goal and nothing more and nothing less that's, that's fantastic and every single person who's been involved is i mean I, I and obviously i've met so many people so many new people that i see them but i've never really had any uh, interactions they're entirely focused on one thing nothing to distract them from that one thing and that has been amazing and I think this group hopefully inshallah will continue beyond this particular campaign inshallah because come winter December January the Rohingya people is, the, the dynamics changes with the cold weather of course because of the, where they're staying on yeah. top of this hill of yeah it's, it's hill wet and moist and then you know like uh, you've got um, What's it called? Dew. Dew coming down. And then, you know, the air is heavy. You know, it's going to cause a lot of uh, respiratory problems. So there are sanitary already, problems. Oh, yeah. They've got huge, huge problems. So, I mean, obviously, a big thank you to everybody who is doing what they can, whether it's through Old Namoringa appeal or through any other appeal. You know, uh, they'll accept your contributions. Um, and but on the 30th of uh, October, which is next Monday, next Monday, you are invited to Ulm Rohingya Fields culmination event, which is a coming together of all the 13 events that have taken place throughout the last five weeks uh, at Eastern Pavilion Banqueting Hall on Cutstall Road in Oldham. Tickets are £20. Pound, um, and it will be a fantastic evening. It's going to be lovely food. Uh, some um, delightful entertainment. Uh, just and quickly, uh, can, can you just uh, confirm the time, please? Because some people aren't aware of the time. Yeah, so Monday night, next Monday, 30th of October. Yes. Arrival at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. And uh, we hope to start at half 6. Half 6, inshallah. And uh, obviously, we, because it's a Monday night, we, we will try and finish before 10 o'clock. Um, on that night, anyone who's taken part in any of these events, they will be receiving their winners' trophies. And those events that didn't have trophies, the uh, participants will receive a certificate. And we will also begin to hear from a few people who were 
the reason why they actually took part uh, and their feelings in relation to the suffering that's gone on over there. So these are the things that we want to explore. Uh, but we want as many people there as possible. We need to sell, it was 150 tickets, but we've now come down to 140 tickets. So members of ILB and other members, brothers and sisters, anyone who's watching anywhere, we still have to um, sell another 140 tickets. If you can help, that would be fantastic because you'll be helping those people in need. Remember folks, we only have seven days, can you believe it? We have seven days left to get grab all of those tickets and make a difference. Change, change something for a little child. Put the some tickets. food. Oh, These are the tickets. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's been too far. I'll, 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 I'll take it closer. <laughs> Is it closer? Well, yeah. There's always someone who knows how to do this. That's better, that's much better. There you go. Oh, that's better. Let me see. Yeah. Let me know when you can get one. Here you go, sir. Anyway, so, well, I guess I, I, I'd like to thank Idris and EJ, I love Bangladesh, and everyone um, for um, supporting the campaign. Uh, and please continue to do so. You'll have Marcus and Ashid Ali all the way from Ashid London. Ali. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're getting some heavyweights tonight. Yeah. You know, how are they going home? Because I need to... Uh, uh, you catch up on his beauty uh, sleep. I need to sleep because I have a hectic day tomorrow. <laughs> I know, you know, I have work, I have real work. Other things as well. <laughs> so on top of all that, you're going, you know, your time on this as well, which is really, really good. Um, but we, we need, you're a heavyweight, you're a heavyweight, heavyweight. I'm, I am heavy, I know, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know, you yeah. don't have to insult me. We need to be heavyweights. EJ, I mean, I'm, I'm heavy, but, you know, not that heavy. <laughs> so yeah, please uh, please do come along to the event next Monday at the Easter Pavilion. It's going to be an absolute emotional uh, roller coaster. I think. I, I think you know. I'm already start beginning to feel like I'm going to cry on, on that day because there's so many interesting things that are going to happen. So many children are going to remind us why this is happening and why we are all involved in this cause and how it's touched all our lives um, in so many different ways and can you can you bear to even close your eyes and imagine if that was me yeah you know if 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 it was the the flip side of the coin and you were in that situation helpless and it's it's not just scare tactics it's about humanity you know some some people some marketing um, companies might use scare tactics, but in this case, it's not scare tactics. They're talking your language. Exactly. So, the thing is, it's, um, I went to a talk at the Muslim Center a few weeks back and uh, what this gentleman was talking about the history of the Rohingya mm -hmm. population in Arakan and it goes back a thousand years So, and you know Fasha Gosharage mm. the state, the, the mosques that were built there you know, it had, like say when the state has made them you know, they were little mm. they were very big Grand. big mosques and so many histor historical things relating to that population. And don't forget, you know, the Muslim population obviously is the one that's been persecuted the most. Yeah. But after all, certain so, so Hindu minority communities are also being persecuted the same. Yeah. You know, so that's quite indiscriminate. You know, Muslims and a small Hindu community uh, that has been there for hundreds of years. Yeah. Yeah. They know nothing but Burma. Yeah, I mean, they are essentially integrated. Yeah. yeah. Integrated or forever. This has happened to, this is can happen to anybody anywhere in the world. See, in one of, one of, one of my earlier shows, you know, I mentioned that Amda Zara Ideshwasi, Tarato Fasho Bosurduri, Azar Bosurduri, Tara Mayanma Parmaase, Amda To Monoruka Funchash Bosurduri Asi Udesho. 
তারা যদি ফাঁসি বছর আগে তারা এই দেশের বাসিন্দা রইয়া থাকে আর তারা আইস ওই রকম ভাবে তারা ট্রিটমেন্ট করা হয় তাহলে এমন কি কথা আছে যে আমরা পঞ্চাশ বছর ধরে এই দেশে থাকলাম আমরা এরকম করতো নাই সো আপনারা যেখান যে যেখান করবা মনে করা যে আপনারা নিজের লাগি এটা একটা সদকা করলা চাওয়ই পারো আপনারা চেষ্টা করবা সাপোর্ট করা আর যারা যারা সম্ভব প্লিজ আপনারা আইবা আমরা সোমবারের অনুষ্ঠান হোক আইলে পরে আমরা আশা করে ইন্সপিরেশন স্পিকার দুই একজন থাকবা আমরা তারা কাছ থেকে শুনতাম পারমু আর টিকেট ওই শিখা শুধুমাত্র বিশ পাল বেশি নাই বিশ পাল খানে খানে ইনক্লুডিং সো আপনারা আইলা দেখলা আর আর এখান থেকে সামান্য কিছু আর কি অংশ যাইব আর যদি ফারুন যদি for the soul for the soul work, yeah work for the soul and as i said earlier i just stand by just a lot yeah. of lot of work mane yeah. what i'm what i'm thinking of doing is you know like kham sabul lage asale ek din ke coffee ar biscuit khaitam na khali coffee you you are welcome on my coffee show yeah khali coffee ni na biscuit na biscuit ase i do i have to bring my own donuts no, it's coffee a, it's a deshi biscuit deshi biscuit oh yes it was a formalina soup sana ni coffee coffee only no tea no tea <laughs> It's got him over to go over there. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Is he, is he coming? I don't think he knows if he can. Uh, I'll just ask oh. him a few questions. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to cover any, any, anything you know, in, in the meantime? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just recap on uh, what, uh, why we're doing this show. First of all, we're doing this show to make people aware of the old Rohingya people and the fantastic job they're doing. Also, um, they're doing a gala event next Wednesday, the 30th of October, starting at half six, Eastern Pavilion. We just want to make people aware um, of the event and also all the work that's going on and, and how much people are, people are helping. We're going to get another guest in um, soon. Uh, he's one of the main you know, organizers involved in all this. So without further ado. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Marcus Mia, Mokhlis Mia, as far as I know him. He's one of the guys who started all this off. So I'm going to put him on the spot, ask him quite a few questions. Um, Mark, can you just uh, introduce yourself? Can you tell our members a bit about yourself first? By their name, it's my question, okay, please. So, right, my name is Mokhlis Mia. I'm a member of this uh, community. I've lived in this town over 30 years. And just by, we all grown up together. Uh, we're the generation that uh, witnessed everything, the hardship, good things, the good days and the bad days. And uh, we feel we've got a lot of experience about the difficulties that we faced in this community as well. And the hardship that we faced in Bangladesh when we were growing up as a little kid. And uh, all this has uh, made us what we are today. And we should always remember and reflect back on uh, the generation that came here, why they came here left uh, all their loved ones back home and uh, I hope uh, they gave us a very good example and that example of our elders we should uh, carry forward. Yeah. So this is uh, that's all I can say. About. Okay, so Oldham Rohingya Pier, the first question I have for you is why 
why why so so passionate? Why Rohingya? Why? I mean, you usually stay on the background with things. This one, you've been very passionate from the start. I've seen your passion from the start. Why? Why Rohingya? And why? See, I, I have been involved uh, with a lot of. Uh, I do a lot of uh, charity work myself. Uh, I started a charity clinic in Bangladesh, which you are aware oh, yeah. of. Yes, um, yes, yes. Back uh, in my village, covering 10 villages. Yeah. And uh, that focused on primary care for these 10 villages, poor people. And, and uh, it was very successful, ran it for eight years. And I've always been involved, but uh, I've not come out to the public in a wide scale like this. I've yeah. not rallied much and I've uh, done it much, uh, most of it on my own. And the funding was 90% funded by myself <coughs> for that project. Now, here and there, I've seen other brothers carry out other charity events for other crises like Syria, Palestine, yeah. Kashmir. Yeah. And I've always given that support to them because they've taken a lead. Yeah. Right? And anybody that takes a lead and initiative, I've always been there to give them that support Absolutely. financially, morally, yeah. and also my presence with them. Now, on this occasion, this has happened on our motherland. On our motherland, absolutely. Right? Yeah. A land that we always have in our mind and our heart. Mm. Uh, the people, that generation that's grew up there, they always, regardless of all the difficulties that we face over there, we can never forget the hardship that we witness over Definitely. there as well. Yeah. So, therefore, our mind is always uh, and our heart is always there because, like they say, there's no better place than home. So one way or another, even though this is our primary home at the moment, but we were we spent our childhood part of it over there. So there's always that bond that always. You know what? You speak for myself when you say things like that. Yes. Because you speak for me as well. Because well, I feel exactly the same as you. Yeah. I feel exactly the same when you say that we were born there and all that. And I feel so so emotional when you, when you talk about them things. And also when you mention about Rohingya, we might think Rohingya Berber. What's that going to do with us? What's that going to do with Bangladesh? But some of you have seen footage as well. It's actually on the doorstep of Bangladesh. They're coming over to Bangladesh. It's affecting Bangladesh as well. Our motherland, like you said. And to be honest, I've I've mentioned before. I've seen you in the background, but on this for this appeal here, I've seen you so passionate, work hard. It's just amazing. And you may not realize people also look up to you as well. We've got younger people as well. But when they, when they see guys like you doing all this, so passionate, hopefully it will influence, and encourage our youngest youngsters to do more good like yourself. See, the most important thing is you have to participate with them as well. Yeah. Right? And participating with them, with the events that they've been doing, it encourages them more. Even though I may be behind the scenes with them, but my presence gives them a much more strength. And this is what I've been in. You might have seen my pictures on a lot of the events, which I have attended every single event. Mm -hmm. Right? And my... Participant, participating uh, reason is to motivate them more, saying, look, you are not on your own. I am standing shoulder to shoulder with you. Yeah. So whatever you face, I will face it with you. Absolutely. Right? And if there's anything that I can support, I will bring that support in, even if it's a financial support. Alhamdulillah, Allah has uh, rewarded himself and uh, put me in a good path. And I'm ready to utilize, utilize that... Uh, Goodwill to the humanity. Right? Yeah. Sorry. Just uh, <coughs> now, in, in terms of the Rohingya people, as everybody knows, everybody reads, and all the social media coverage that we see, yeah. it is nothing compared to what I've witnessed uh, in other crises. And uh, maybe the other crises are not highlighted as much the way it is. And the uh, most important part, these people plight is not being promoted, highlighted the way it should be as well, yeah. right? The reason being, these are the most persecuted yeah. people in the whole planet, right? And uh, they're the most vulnerable people who has no home, no land, no country, and they're the most poorest people on the planet. So therefore, these people are not getting what the attention they should be getting. And uh, the awareness they should be getting, and the support from the international community they should be getting. But I tell you one thing, ORA, the way ORA has done it, they've certainly 
they've certainly really made me follow it. Honestly, guys are doing a fantastic job. Everyone that's involved. I'm going to go come on to the events that you've done already, but I've got one question. Sorry to stop you there. One question to ask you. It's, it's usually on a lot of people's lips that, oh, we, we do this charity in that charity. How do you know it's going to go to the right people? Oh, they're just putting the names on the papers and TV and media. This is the question people always ask, not just about this, in general people ask, because people want to know the money is going to the right place, and the money is being used wisely, and it's not just to, for people to get on the TV screen, the newspapers and that. I'm sorry, it's, a, it's like a sensitive question, but do you think you can even uh, elaborate on this a little bit about, about why people say that? Well, uh, well, I can't elaborate, but I could give you my opinion. Yeah, just give on this. Opinion. Yeah. Right, just like ORA, like brothers from this community is doing fundraising, for a cause, yeah. right? Just like ourselves, there's a lot of hard-working brothers out there, a lot of organizations who's putting their heart and soul and their money into it. Now, it's a question of individuals, how they perceive this. Now, without their support, without these aids getting there, I think these people would have starved to death, right? So when people come out to you and say, look, I'm raising money for ORA, I'm, I'm raising more money for the Rohingya crisis, for the Syrian crisis, I say, that question should be to yourself. Is this money going to the right people? Only Allah knows. Yeah. Right? And we shouldn't be judging these people for whatever question or whatever bad apple, wherever there might be a bad apple. But without this organization, without the support of public, without the support of these individuals, without their hard work, no charity will exist if we ask questions like this. Just like when you go to the mosque, you donate 10 pounds. What did you, did you ask? Why did I donate that 10 pounds? What cause is it going to? Same as I this. think it's spot on there. Really. We donate money. We now, what start. you can ask cause is what are we planning to do yeah. with the money that we will raise? Yeah. Right? So that planning is going to be a collective planning. Now we intend to take this donation directly ourselves and distribute it on the ground ourselves. Right. Now when I say ourselves, we join anybody still ourselves. We are joining another group to make our uh, aid get there better. Maybe we might not have access to certain camps, but certain organizations will have better access. So therefore we will join with them and maybe we will be volunteers for them and that would be a blessing in disguise for us to if we could be, be even a volunteer but let me assure you now the money that we raise we raise it from the public and it's a responsibility that is beyond anybody's imagination even a pound that pound needs to get there and that's the trust that we believe we have from this community and inshallah we will fulfill that commitment um, I mean, already from the response from the community, I can see it's, it's a fantastic response. And from, I can see the, the sort of emotion and passion in your words, how genuine it is and all that. And we can see already how great it is. And we make dua that we, get, we carry on getting that support. And, I, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I just want to dwell on that. I was saying exactly I'm going to come to that. Yeah. There were brothers in this, within this organization who has raised the question, how we distribute this money? I have said to the brothers, do not confuse your mind with who this aid is going to. Concentrate on the path, get on the road first, start marching, start raising the money. Once you raise some money, you can personally make that decision yourself, which organization you want to go with, or if you want to go with yourself. But if you're going to sit back at home and think about this subject, more than getting on the ground and doing the hard work, you're wasting this valuable time. So if anybody is thinking about this subject, please get on the march first, get on the road, join the march with other people and start doing something about it yeah. so and yeah. then make a decision yeah. about it. And you'll see when, you, when you're on this path, you'll come across so much support, so many advice from brothers who's already been on the ground and aid organization will you'll be able to approach and you'll learn a lot more on how you can utilize that money to its maximized use and uh, make a decision then as well. So what we have decided is let's not talk about with these questions. Let's bring the community together, rally the community for this cause and bring everybody together to come out and raise as much as money as possible. Uh, that's very well explained. Honestly, we put it in really good words and I hope the message has gone clear to our members. 
The next question I want to ask you is, um, there's been a lot of events happening. Can you tell us a bit more about so many events, so many events I've seen happening. Can you tell us a, a slightly, slightly bit more about the events and then the, obviously the main event next week. That's what the members want to hear. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, uh, I love to share this and hopefully if this uh, my sharing of my experience encourages others in uh, different towns and cities, this is something that we've done, never had been done in the whole time of our life. I, I, can't, remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, this was uh, something when we started this task, uh, it us, we thought it was going to be impossible to achieve. And then when you start a task, and believe me or not, uh, the saying, God works in a mysterious way, well, Allah has helped us in this path. Now, this path we started was to create the momentum, is by doing all these small initiative, the events that's taken place, but believe me or not, they were not small, they turned out to be big events. So we started, first of all, uh, with a snooker tournament, crown board tournament, then one led to another and he encouraged others as well yeah. to come in. And then what we decided, there's so much support out there and there's a lot of volunteers yeah. who want to participate and also organize their own events. We decided to name it ORA, representing the brotherhood yeah of the whole community rather than an individual. Now, let me remind everybody, this is not a one-man show. No. This is a community event, and this is a community unified success if we do succeed. Exactly. Inshallah, so far we have succeeded, and you can only succeed when you're in a big community and when you have strong brotherhood. And uh, we started uh, with, the, like I said, the snoop tournament, the crumble tournament, but we gave a gap yeah. on each event. So what happens is, as soon as an event finished, we rally to the next one. Exactly. So when that next one finished, we rally to the next one. So like this, believe me or not, Alhamdulillah, God has helped us in our class. I remember you telling me, I even, know I had several before, discussions. Before this started, because before you started. said to me, I want to do something like this, I want to get the whole community together. Never did I envisage the this. way it's turned out. It is yeah. absolutely amazing, more than I expected. Honestly, it's just brilliant. Awesome. Can you, the most beautiful thing is, normally charity events are like Monday event, you're done, you wash yeah. your hand, you're gone home. Yeah. But we have been doing charity over a month now, yeah. and under the same banner, one day after another. So it's non-stop, we're doing events, and continually doing, doing events, and the whole purpose, like I said, the idea I gave is yeah. like, all these events are going to come together yeah. into a grand event. Yeah. So what we've done for the whole month, rallied the whole community yeah. in different corners and people with different hobbies brought them all together and their crowd together and mixed all the crowd together and we rallied from one event to another. Like we finished the football, we went to the uh, fun day. So we started. And, and the beauty of this is, it's a mixture. You did a ladies' event as well. We did a ladies' the event. event. It's, not, it's not just football. This is everything. everything. And that is such amazing thing. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I've never witnessed anything like this in all of the whole community getting together. That's just great. That's, that's, that's the power. It's not just charity. It's bringing everyone together. And it's empowering a lot of youths. A lot. This is the most. You know, this event has uh, taught us a lot of lessons as well. Uh, a lot of achievements as well. Uh, a lot of achievements in our youth and their ability and the talent they have, which never been demonstrated before. Yeah, exactly. And they've never been given that opportunity before as well. And each event holder has his volunteers also. Yes, that's another thing. Yes. They have their volunteers. So, so. like, uh, for example, your man Kalazad, who yeah. designed this. So it's a collective. Don't forget, you can buy these t shirts as yeah. well. That's right. So Azad had his own volunteers. The Snooky Tournament guy had his own volunteers. The Fond Day guy had his volunteers. The ladies event had their volunteers. And if you look at the amount of people involved behind the scene, it's just phenomenal. 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 Yeah. So before you go on to the next week's event, is there something? Have we got are we all right for time? Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. So, Richard, I want you to go on to the main event now. Because this is the, one of the reasons why we think I want you to tell us about the gala event, the main event, please. Right, okay. Now, the gala event, which was supposed to be on the 26th of October, uh, which has been moved to the 30th of October, 
the reason we've done that was for a couple of reasons. One, we have to always bear in our mind, back of our mind, why we've started this and why we're doing this and what if is our objective. Right? My, our main ex objective is to raise as much as fund as possible and raise as much as awareness as possible. So we're doing both at the same time. It's easier just going to somebody, family members, and say, give me 50 quid, donate 50 quid to this cause. And it's not raising awareness. It might be raising, but we're doing this as well. Yeah. So <clears throat> on the 30th, the reason we've had it on the 30th, now we were supposed to get some uh, VIP guests to highlight the issues, mm -hmm. which would have been easier on the 26th, which is on a Thursday. Because they're not parliamentary. Oh, right. And we had also the MP. Uh, confirmed on that day. Right. But this community currently yeah. works in the catering trade. Yeah, that's right. a, that's a big thing as well. And uh, our target of getting about five hundred people in a hall yeah. was to raise as much as money as possible and also the awareness. Mm -hmm. Now having it on a Thursday we might not get all these people because of the inconvenience that will cause in the yeah. restaurant trade. Yeah. Uh, people taking day off, people taking more than one person taking a day off. And then we decided we're going to switch it to a 30th, which is on a Monday. Monday. So we get the community coming out. Yeah. People can't take a day off, so it's a lot more convenient. And what we did decide to do is give the platform on that day to the people who actually do all the hard work. Empower them, because these brothers never had this platform. They've never had this opportunity. Yeah. So we don't want to take away the credit. We yeah. want to empower them for the new gen new future generation, share their, yeah. share their experiences and also encourage other youths to see an example of their friends doing similar things. Yeah. It brings them together and we're empowering another generation in the community to play a part. That's, uh, that's, beauty. Beautiful. that's the beauty of it. So we will give the day to all these organizers. So the program will have a number of speakers also. Uh, platform will be given to all the organizers that done all the hard work uh, with the volunteers. So in a way, if, and if you buy a ticket for this um, gala event, even if you haven't contributed anything at all, just buy one ticket. Just emphasize on this gala event. This whole project is 100% going to the Rohingya group. All the expenses so far has been covered by individual people. There you go. Yeah. The grand event, the cost of it, the phone for the cost for the meal, the hall, the staff, everything is being paid by an individual. So the money, the ticket that you buy, the whole twenty pound is going to the Rohingya people. Nobody is taking a penny out from any event. You know what? Even I didn't know that. Yes. There you go. You've heard it mm -hmm. from the main person here. All the money that's been raised the through the gala. So just imagine, you're just buying a ticket, £20 ticket, you're going to have a meal, you're going to get to the network, and all this money is going to the charity, 100%. What more can you I'd ask? I'd like to emphasize something else. The amount of youngsters that are involved in this, and the amount of volunteers, youngest age 11, 12, 13, and even they are coming forward to me and saying, Church, when am I doing this again? There you go. I said to you earlier, when am I doing this again? Can I play this part? Yeah. Well, there's a big, there's a good surprise here, by the way. Good surprise? Yes. On the grand event, believe it or not, some of these young kids have volunteered. Because we don't have dessert on the menu on the grand event, they are going to make their homemade cookies and cakes for you to enjoy. Wow. Mashallah. 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 So, can you just imagine the passion in that? I'm just amazed at the, when he said that 100% is yes. going to the, char uh, yes. to the charity and an individual has donated it. Yeah. There's so much good work going. A lot of people are not always in the front line. They're just doing it behind the scenes as well. It's, oh, yes. it's really good. Um, do you want to say anything about the main event? Do you want to say anything no, no, else about Bangladesh as well? Before we, um, now, just on the last one, there is another brother seeing all this as a... Like I said, uh, Allah works in a mysterious way. There's another brother who's adding another event to the 13th event. So now we have 14th event. 14? Yeah, a brother called Joinal um, in uh, Stockport. He's a brother from Oldham. He's holding a dinner event on behalf of ORA. So he's got a target of £3,000 to be raised 3, on that pounds. night. 
and he's fortunately he's doing the event on the same day as ourselves because the week changed our date and he already planned this day with his customers, oh, right. okay. with all his customers and uh, mashallah i like to thank the brother on behalf of all the brothers from this community Very and nice. i hope this encourages all the brothers uh, and sisters from uh, different communities it don't, don't have to be part of our day. You can do something yourself. Another the point, yeah? Yes, yeah. It, it, our day is, this is something we started in all and we've named it our day. You can name anything. Exactly. You can, yeah. you can join anybody as long as we remember the cause. Yeah. It's the victims who we are doing all this for the Islam Rohingya crisis. Uh, this crisis is nothing that it shouldn't be even happening in this uh, day of age. This is a... Uh, it's something we can discuss, and this is a shame. Uh, this uh, the whole world is watching, and the people that should be speaking and the people that should be raising this are so quiet, and uh, nothing can justify this silence. But let me tell you something: we, the people of our community and beyond, are not sitting down waiting around for somebody to say something. I hope our voices are heard. I think uh, from what I have seen already, our voices are definitely being heard. And it's not only doing one good thing. I would say the charity is one good thing. You said it yourself. It's empowering youngsters. We're doing a lot more activities. People are getting active. So many things. Look how many good things is coming out of it. Not just the one thing. Look how many good things is coming out of it. If at the least you take part in an activity, that is, a, a, that is a, something. So you guys are doing an amazing job. Everybody's included. And like you said, it's not one man team. It's the whole community contributing. Even a little bit is contributing to that. So um, despite you witnessed some of these events yourself, yeah, you were yeah, there participating in yeah, yeah. a lot of these events yourself. Now, the amount of people are involved, that we're literally picking up house from the floor. And this is what the, the most powerful and the most beautiful thing is. All these kids are willing to pick up the pennies from the floor. They're not just focusing on this individual people who's a businessman. Let's go and target him. Don't forget, the whole community is targeting him. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So these individuals, all these people on the ORA is hoping these people come forward. We don't know how many people have approached you. Yes. No. So we don't want to be harassing these people just because they are business people. They have family, they have businesses yes. to run. Yes. So therefore we tell all our brothers, please be very subtle. Please be very gentle if you do approach anybody. And approach the people you feel comfortable with. Yes. So they don't people don't demoralize you. Yeah. And uh, all these brothers are happy to pick up the pounds and pennies from the floor. And we've seen some of these events that one day, by selling pound a burger, they raise a lot of money. It's and it's the total that, has, that puts a lot of smile on the people. Yeah. <clears throat> so we've got a final message. I'll just give you to say a final message one minute. So if you want to say anything else before we uh, finish. I'd just uh, like to thank all your viewers for watching and uh, please do share as much as possible uh, this raises a lot of awareness and this uh, shares a lot of ideas and a lot of encouragement as well and if you are local if you can please support uh, the grand event which is happening on the 30th at the Eastern Pavilion and if you are where you are whichever town and cities in this country worldwide wherever you are do something in your own community don't wait for these leaders they have their own agendas, they have their own um, ideas. Um, what we need to do is we need to think about our ideas and putting our ideas into effect and uh, join the road. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you. Mashallah. Very Thank passionate, you. very inspiring, very so. emotional. Inshallah. Amazing, amazing job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. So, um, do you want to say anything else? Just, just to finish, wrap up. Just to wrap up, or is yeah. there else? There? Um, viewers, Askia, Askia, to answer I'm not. I, I'll be, I'll be. Iti ashen was it? Shop site to lomba video for si Askia. So, asha hore afnara zara ek shate dekta bata na afnara onshong shong hore dekpa, but onushtan ta dekpa hi onushtan hamaz ek kub muli jaban mane toto toto halase. Uh, I am a Faron. 
চেষ্টা করব আপনার অনুষ্ঠান ও এইটা ত্রিশ তারিখ আগামী সোমবারে ইস্টার্ন পেভিলিয়নও বিকাল ছয়টা থেকে শুরু হইব অনুষ্ঠান আপনারা তাহপা আপনারা মার্কাস পাইয়া ও মাত্র থান কুইশন যে ইটা এই টিকেট টিকেট ক্রয়ের মাঝে যে ঠেকা ঠেকা আপনার করো সরবা ইটা সম্পূর্ণ এটা রোহিঙ্গা এপিলও যাইব আর আপনারা যদি আরও যদি ডোনেট করতে চান এও আপনারা করবার সুযোগ আছে করার করার সুযোগ আছে কতটুকু আপনারা আমি কইব যে আপনারা প্লিজ যারা যারা ফার্ম সম্ভব আইবা আর আই এল বির পক্ষ থেকে আজকের লাগে এখনও বিদায় নেই আর ইনশাল্লাহ আগামীতে আরও আলাপ আলোচনা হইব আপনার লগে আর আমরা নেক্সট ভিডিওর মাঝে আমরা আরো আরো জন মেহমান আসুন একটা সেকেন্ড আয়ু গাও ভাই সিট সিট করো Ashid Bhai has been following this from day one and has been giving support to us morally and even though he's in London he's made the journey all the way to here and he promised that he was going to be with us at the grand event and he's made the journey all the way from grand event. Ashid Bhai, you've inspired a lot of people. Before I go to Shambhash Wangal, Ashid Ali was supported to us last year and I've been at the time Lonely and Device Academy, we had the Lonky Parade event. So he's a big supporter of ILB as well. So I just thought I'd mention that. And obviously he's a big supporter in order to make a community as a big, big um, heavyweight. Although he doesn't look that heavy, but he's oh, a heavyweight. Weight. Okay. Sorry, carry on. Right, listen. It is fine. I'll let you carry on. With the... <laughs> no, that's fine. Nashid Bhai. Yeah, go on Nashid Bhai. A few words of inspiration, please, yeah? Assalamu alaikum. Um, I'm really delighted to be able to join you guys here this evening. Um, I've been extremely proud of the work that the Old Young Rohingya um, group has been doing for the last few weeks, both men and women, um, in these difficult times. It is, after all, one of the largest man-made crises, which could have been avoided if politicians at various levels acted earlier. But now that the inevitable has happened, we have a duty to make sure that we minimize the damage and disruption as possible. And the Bangladesh government being a poor country is trying very hard, but they are you know, um, asking for help from international donors. And I feel that people in Britain opened up the country are in a very good position to be able to make those sacrifices and support this fantastic cause. Um, only last week, um, we did some fundraising in my own school. One of my senior staff from London, along with a team of um, six people, I has flown out to Bangladesh to the um, refugee camps for this week I, with the main intention of supporting the people who become homeless and giving them that bit of hope that not all is lost and the fact that there are people out there who are really concerned and really um, willing to go the extra mile to support them in these difficult hours. So if you are watching this, you know, Idris, Mahlis and people from Oldham have done a really great job in putting in a range of events and initiatives to get the young people and the wider community involved in this fantastic cause. And I hope that you will join in and support them uh, to make sure that we can reach out to nearly a million people, even the BBC today admitted that about a million people have been displaced into Bangladesh and they need our help. I've got one question for you, I'm going to put you on the spot. Because you're a head teacher and all that, I think you will be able to answer it. Oh, this is very good. I want to discuss about it. Are we doing enough to promote a non-Muslim, non-Bangladeshi community? In terms of the non-Bangladeshi community, what we have to realize is that the DEC, the Disaster Emergency Committee, has actually gone out on Sky News, BBC and ITV with their appeals. Um, so, yes, we are disappointed that um, I expected a lot more to come from the UN, United Nations um, Refugee Support. We expected a lot more to come from the World Food Programme, although they've made a start. You know, we do have mountains and surfaces of food in Western Europe, in North America, in Australasia. And it is important that rather than keeping the mountains of food, in desperate times like this, we support 
uh, the people who have become destitute, give them that hope so that later on, you know, they will be able to stand on their own feet. But however, that does not mean the, uh, you know, the tiny bits that we can do, which is through personal charities, which is through Zakat. Uh, it is important that we do that and we're able to inspire others to um, join us and support uh, the fantastic course. Marcus, did you want to say something on this? Sorry. Yeah. Now, while we started this journey, the, we did send some brothers as a first delegation to Bangladesh as well. So they have been working on the ground, covering some of the pains and suffering and helping as much as they can. And uh, now, if you follow social media, you'll see some of the videos that have been posted by these brothers representing the ORA and this community. And there's a lot of people from this community who has gone independently, voluntarily, from Mars, who has volunteered and who's felt so much passionate about doing something. And uh, we like to thank everybody that's gone out there and taken this measures in their own way. And hopefully many more will follow. And these brothers are example that made us also want to take the similar path. And hopefully we could follow their footsteps as well. Now, there's a lot of brothers' names to mention. I don't know all the names, but some of the names I do know. You had a, a delegation from uh, Sundun by Somru by uh, uh, Nozul by uh, Lipon by all them. They went from all them uh, as, as a big team uh, with Amir and Lipon and everybody else. They had a team of nine or ten people. And also, I had a brother from here, uh, which you know, lives in your neighborhood as well, just by Kamal. And uh, Kamal has been very inspirational uh, to motivate the crew that was on the ground here doing all the work. He went to Bangladesh and he made some t-shirts over there. And he said, I need to show everybody on the ground that we are here also. So thank you very much, Kamal Bai, uh, for doing this. And you have inspired a lot of youngsters to see yourself on the ground. and. Uh, Hopefully they follow your footsteps as well to doing something about it, going out there, witnessing something. Now, there's a, there's a huge difference. When you see something on social media and when you're actually on the ground and witness it, some people, they can't even hack it. Believe me, it's unbearable. Because I know what it's like when I go to my village and when I see suffering, even then it makes me cry. So it's just imagine when you're on that crisis zone, what would you, you would face and how you would... It's a huge difference. It's a huge Just difference. one more thing, uh, going back to Ashley, people like yourselves, you take that against the uh, office and all that, you're growing up, or even they don't even know, and it's great to see people like yourself leading the way and all that. It actually encourages others, influential figures and all that. So I'd like to, you know, it's great to see and thank you guys for being that way. So I'll let you have a few more words before we finish. So, as I said, I have been really, really impressed with the Old Moringa appeal because, you know, in this particular case, I, I hope Marcus will not mind me saying it is the ordinary people doing extraordinary work. Uh, you know, we don't see uh, people like Mohlis in front of TV uh, asking for podium, asking to do speeches. We needed the people from Glasgow to come out there and say, this guy needs our help. What we must realize is in this moment of time, the climate in Southeast Asia, come November, December, it's going to be very cold. You know, this is normally um, you know, an area where they enjoy 35, 40 degrees Celsius. Suddenly at night time, it's going to be 3, 4 degrees. These people need blanket, they need medication, they need food. And what makes it more desperate and difficult is I was asking some people, can we give them projects to make themselves sufficient? Uh, things like giving them nets so they can go out fishing. Apparently, as refugees, they don't enjoy these rights. They can't, they're not allowed to work, you know. So it's really important that we are able to give them projects such as water pumps, such as setting up schools, because the vast majority of the refugees are women and young children. And these children cannot lose hope. Uh, because, you know, in this day and age, in the 21st century, they know that people around the world are watching them on TV, mainstream TV as well as the social media, and they are putting their hands up, saying, help us now so that we can stand on our feet at a later time. So once again, uh, thank you, Ashley. Uh, thank you for your valuable time and you know, your uh, very, very eloquent words, as always. Um, and li like I said before, we need prominent people like yourself, like other people, to actually get involved in these things. And 
amazing. Uh, you know, the kind of people that are involved from, from here is just amazing. And it's really, really good to see you. I hope to see you on the 30th. I hope you're coming on the 30th. Uh, I would like to, this is my week off. So I will see what I can do. Yeah. You're, you're ready. ready. You're gonna come on, inshallah. Okay. inshallah. We're going to uh, close off in uh, two minutes. If there's anything else you'd like, any, any further messages or final words, then we're going to finish off. In. This is the longest live we've gone. Oh, yeah. The longest live we've gone to the world. Because, you know, we, we, we ourselves feel passionate about it. That's why it's the longest time we've gone. I think we've been running over two and a half hours now. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we had a lot more members before, it's slowly uh, going off now. We had very callers. You know, like on our music events. We still live it to two hours. Two hours, yeah. I mean, this is long, long. So thank you again, once again, all the way from London. We hope to see you involved in um, more of our events and uh, IRB and Rohingya and, 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 and charity events as well. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so I think uh, Vijay Samba has left me to have the final words. So just a reminder about next Monday, Monday the 30th at Eastern Pavilion, the gala event. And uh, please buy a ticket and go there, attend and contribute. Let's do it as a collective thing. And um, good night.